pandemic has been especially difficult for those on the front lines. Doctors and nurses seeing the influx in patients risking their own lives. As Julia McDonald shows us, many are struggling with how to cope with so much loss and the stress of the job. Personal protective equipment is very important, and masks and, and ventilators. But we also have to look out for the mental health. Jay Ruderman was speaking with a physician friend recently when he knew he had to help. And the response that I got about like how are things right now is that we've never faced this much death um, in, a, in a concentrated uh, time. To support these men and women working in the front lines against coronavirus, the Newton-based Ruderman Family Foundation is donating $100,000 to Mass General. Our doctors and our nurses and our medical personnel are superheroes, but they're also human. And as humans, you know, when you see people passing away around you, it really takes a toll. An additional $10,000 will go to Boston Police to support the mental health of other heroes bravely answering the call. Our first responders, they have to show up to save our general population. And many, many times they're at risk. They don't know who they're going to see, what condition they're in. Part of the donation will fund additional peer support and also launch online video tools for workers enduring overwhelming stress during this COVID-19 crisis. We're all patients. We're all human beings and we're all susceptible to the same kinds of fears and concerns. And so a, a gift like this, you know, does a tremendous amount, not just the, the money itself and the resources that that can help support people with, but also the awareness that it helps bring to these issues. Julie McDonald, WBZ News.